Hello, welcome back to Satisfactory. This is Maker Gaming with our third video on the hexagon decorations. But before the decorations, I want to highlight a massive improvement to the, the hex wall brought to my attention by Santa's Little Helper on my Discord. So if you recall in my hex video, I acknowledged that the method's not exactly perfect and that uh, this center point doesn't always line up exactly right. So yeah, you could just tell it's it's not quite lined up, it's close, uh, it looks great from far or tiled out to an entire wall. But, but Santa's little helper figured it out, um, showed me how to do it, and if you see here, just, I mean, use the three dots of the pillars as registration marks. This thing is dead on. Um, every single time. So let's talk about why that's like that in my jumpy dedicated server. So in the hex walls video, we talk about, you know, the beams. Uh, this is the basic design using this five meters, all that. Um, and the tip was do that, set your hexagon. And then when you put the concrete pillar on, you rotate like so from the end point of each one. And yeah, not bad, but so yeah, the secret is that pillars rotate in 10 degree increments. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine to get the 90 degrees to the next section. Whereas a beam, you pull that out and it rotates in 15 degrees. So to get around 90 degrees, you go one, two, three, four, five, six. Now that's huge because with 15 degree increments, that gives you the uh, ability to get to the 45 degree angle. And that's your exact um, halfway mark for your 90. So yeah, the big fix, it's just you rotate the beam uh, before as the framework, and then you don't have to rotate the pillar when you put it on. So instead of starting with this and covering it with concrete, you're starting with this and covering it with concrete. And there's the three circles. There's your proof. All right, on with the decorations. So the decoration ideas I'm showing, they're, they're just real basic ideas, building blocks to build something cooler. So yeah, if you like the hexagon stuff, be sure to subscribe because next week I'm gonna be I'm gonna be visiting a, a hexagon world. Uh, this guy's been building hexagon design since at least update four. So yeah, that'll be cool. All right, so now we can look at a few other decoration ideas. Uh, it'd be stairs, some of these shapes, and some of the stuff you can do with the ramps. Let's start with the glass roof, because that one's the easiest. Uh, for that, you get a two meter, and then inside, you have a little less than one meter per side hexagon. So we want to be centered at each of those center points. So we're going to use barriers again. And then holding control with a wall will replace the barrier. Actually, let's use glass. Again, holding control to replace the other material. And if you've worked with ramps before, you know they're a little bit finicky in the directions you can place them in relation to other things. So these just help as a guide for them. Then we're going to get the bottom pattern. So yeah, it's pretty, looks kind of like a diamond from above, from the sides. And then to get that shape, you're just repeating. You're just repeating on the top side. After you put all these, you delete the uh, other stuff. Alright, and that's what you're left with. It's good to light up. 
Okay, and similar to the glass roof, uh, there's another method that's basically that same 2x2 two two hexagon with the barrier method down the middles of each. And then this is just ramps, ramp foundations. So this is another one. It's just, it's that same idea. It's just incline, it's just ramps and ramp walls. And you get a lot of geometric, um, precise geometry. That's got to be useful to somebody for something, right? Chandelier. Lobby. Alright, and to start we'll do a double ramp. At the bottom of each barrier. We got a Sarlacc pit all of a sudden. Hold on, that should actually not be touching. Alright, and that's with all six. Definite star pattern there. So yeah, rather than go through it, it really is just uh, messing around, adding different features. It's just using the hexagon pattern makes everything uh, look a little cooler. So let's do the stairs and call it. All right, for the stairs, I, I just want to mention in the first video, we talked about how you could make a hexagon of any foundation size. And just to expand on that, you could also make it in any, um, any meter length. So say we need a 19, um, 19 across. You just draw your beam to the full length you want, and then you come over here, and you go off to the edge, one, two, three, four, and then you count that out, four, and then you just place that there, and connect that, and now you have one wall, or I'm sorry, now you have one edge that's the 19 meters, and then you just repeat the method um, from the first video, all the way around and then at each uh, each edge you just have to keep repeating uh, the beam trick to get the 19 and repeat six times and you're done for guides it's helpful to connect opposite corners and just having a guide like that helps in the next step to make sure you're make sure you're dialed in to the right angle so yeah, here's a quick how to do it, and then a mistake I came across. This is by no means perfected yet, but it's a start. Alright, so how do we do each layer? Start with the frame floor. That's how we're getting our one meter. Uh, we're going one up, one over. And same thing over here, but that's blocking it. So we go there, one up, one over. Put that one back. And then we lay these two on top. Delete these two. Put these going down and delete the guide block. And then connect from either side. And we're going to do this until... Um, until these two and a half blocks currently become two blocks. Then we'll move on to the next layer. And you just continue the pattern from here, and because we're doing it exactly here, and every time we're going one meter in, one meter up, that's why at least the front three are perfect. Welcome back. I've been working on this. I don't know what episode I'm going to put it in. Uh, but I did realize on the start, I messed up one corner. So if you kind of look at it from the bottom, you see how they're all straight? That means that's a good corner. You come over here. Those look good. That one did not come out right. So from that one meter block being incorrect here, that is now propagated um, into something funky over there, which throws the whole thing off from above. From the side, I'm still okay with it. And from the front, I th believe it's still perfect. So I'm going to finish it. All right, I think that's it. I'm hoping someone shows up to my Discord again to workshop the stairs, um, like it happened for the walls. 
Yeah, thanks for watching.